Hey guys, this is Jody, COD Outdoors, back out in the woods again today. I'm gonna do a little bit more metal detecting. I'm back in the, my old spot where I found all the stuff the past year. and see what else I can get on today. I know that there's still targets here, there has to be, with all the activity and the houses and people that lived here. There's no way that I've got everything. So we're gonna give it another shot today and hopefully, Lord willing, we'll come across something that's worthy of showing you on the video. I do have a new uh, toy with me today. I purchased a new detector. It's nothing big or fancy, guys. I I got the Fisher F22. It's the all-weather, weatherproof detector with a nine inch, I think, concentric coil in the tear shape. We'll give that a shot today and see what I can get. I bought this detector, guys, because my uh, Liberator was on the Fritz. Well, I'd already purchased this one, and I got my liberator working again, so now I've got two of them, so that's all right. We'll make do. Uh, just thank God we got something to detect with. But I'll give you guys a quick look at this Fisher, and then we'll get started. Okay, guys, here's the detector. This is the Fisher F22, made by Fisher Research Labs. As you can see here, it's got the 9-inch uh, concentric coil. It's a three-piece, it's a three-piece stem here. We got this plastic piece on the bottom and then a center piece. And then of course, the top piece with the handle and the uh, arm guard and the stand. Here's the head, head piece. All right, guys, we got pinpoint, menu, plus or minus plus, mode and power. Now if we power this on, it goes through a boot where it shows the uh, the serial number of the unit. And right now it's on coin mode. And over here is the menu. We can select volume. It's got 1 through 10 on the volume. It's got sensitivity, 1 through 10 I think as well. I think it's got maybe 1 through 20 on the volume. And then I can notch here whatever I want to notch across the top. And if we go over here, we've got modes. We've got artifact. Let's start at the top. We've got jewelry, coin, artifact, and custom. Custom here, I can notch out what I want, and I can put the tone to each one of these what I want. This is like iron, which is in an FE sound. It's a grunt sound. I can also uh, eliminate that totally with where I don't hear the iron, but I like hearing the iron, so I know that I'm on something there anyway. But anyway, guys, we're going to set our sensitivity. We're going to set our sensitivity on about 8. Again, 10 is the max. Then I'm going to go, I'm not going to notch anything. I'm going to set my volume down on 4. So, and I think I'm going to hunt the custom. Because I went in and changed the tones on all these numbers up here to my liking. So, see what we can find, guys. All right, guys, finding a couple things here. I found this, this is a, off of a lipstick, if I'm not mistaken. It's the tube, either off a of lipstick or eyeliner, some sort, says a little relic there. And then just right, I don't know, three or four feet from it, I just found this piece. And I wasn't sure what it was, but I noticed that it looked like it opened so, I opened it. It's got a picture inside of it here, guys. I don't know who the picture is of, but it appears to be some kind of jewelry of some sort. It's a keepsake, like a locket. I don't know if it has anything wrote on it anywhere. That's a pretty cool find right there. Let's see what else we can get, guys. All right, guys, I got another relic here. It's gonna be a fork. It's being up pretty bad, ain't it? It's all right, we'll take it. I like finding these old relics. Here's what we're detecting in, guys. It's a little thick, but we've got room to get the ground here. But it's still pretty green out for it to be no, uh, almost November. I think today's October 29th. 
Let's see what else we can get, guys. <clears throat> All right, everybody. I got something here. I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's a coin. Earring? That's exactly what it is, the earring. Pieces came off. There's another piece. So it is the earring. I think that's what it is, guys. Let me clean it up a little bit. I think it's just costume jewelry, guys. It's all right. It's an earring nonetheless. See what else we can get. Looks like I got a coin here of some kind, guys. It was in the 60s. It looks penny size. So I'm going to assume that's what it is. Yeah, there's Mr. Lincoln. Oh, the back I can't get clean you try to clean it up guys all right it is a wheat wheat scent I can't see the date on it right now I have to get it home and clean it up some but all right we'll take it guys we'll take a coin any day Right here in the middle of this thick garbage. I mean, I'm digging amongst vines and <laughs> all kinds of trash. I've got the uh, detector set on artifact mode. Hope you guys can see that. And I've been doing pretty good with it. In artifact mode, it's open. Nothing is notched. Nothing is discriminated. So it's hitting everything. Just keep going, guys. Hey, guys. It's Jody with COD Outdoors. Back out in the woods today doing a little metal detecting. Uh, I found a mine tag and some other junk so far. I'm back in the, the other place where I've been hunting, where I found all the script. So I got a 60 some signal right here in this little flat. Looks like a little road maybe, road bed. But I got a coin here and we'll share that together, see what it is. Right here's where I got guys. It was not very deep, maybe three, four inches. Let's see what it is here. I have no idea yet what it is. And I don't have my, I see Link in there. So it's gonna be a penny. Let's see if it's a wheat. Yep, it's a wheat, guys. So our first coin is going to be a wheat cent. And I don't know the date on it. Well, you guys can see it there. I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on right now. All right, guys, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, I had a 40-some signal right here in this hole. Well, I got it out of the hole and I pinpointed it over here and I found it. It's right here. It looks like it's going to be a button. I did pick it up and look at it because I can see a shank on the back. I don't know what kind of button it's going to be. I don't know if you guys remember, I found a military button up here the first time I came. And I think that's what this is going to be. I can see the eagle already. All right. I love the military finds, guys. They always uh, are really good to find. That's what that is, a small military button. Still got the shank on the back. I don't want to break it off, but you can see it right there. So, all right, guys. Got us a small military button here. It's probably the same as the other one. The other one was World War One related. And uh, the wheat penny that I found previously was 1920. So this stuff, you know, dates to the air of the world. First World War. 
and that's really cool i'm gonna keep looking around here and hopefully we can come across some more cool stuff hey guys check this out pocket knife Don't know what kind it is yet. It's in bad shape, of course. It's been laying here for a lot of, a lot of years. But it's pretty much right on top of the ground right here beside this big rock. That's a cool find. I always like finding these pocket knives. Still finding targets, guys. Let's see what else we can get. Hey, guys. I apologize for the sirens in the background. The town I live in is having a uh, military parade for the veterans. But I got something here. It's coin shape, coin size. Just got it right here. It's pretty much just right under the surface, ringing up a 30, 35, I think. <laughs> Don't know what it is. May not be a coin. Could be anything. Let me try to clean it off a little bit, guys, and get back with you. Okay, guys, it's another piece of script. That's awesome. It's a K stamp, and it's a five, five piece. I don't know if they went by cents or what they went by. But that's another piece of script, guys. That's script piece number six we found at this area. And we're going to keep looking. So you guys stay with us. Hey, guys, I moved to a different spot. I moved across the mountain. Right behind me, there's a graveyard. And I do not detect on graveyard, so I passed it up and got over here to another flat spot where it looks like there was some activity. So, all right, guys, we got another coin here, some kind. You can see it right there. It was ringing up in, like in the 30s. I think it was like a 34 or something like that. Let's see what it is here. Looks like a coin might be a button. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a button, guys. It's got some writing it appears to have on it. Let me see what I can get get it cleaned up, guys, and we'll look at it together. Okay, guys. Turns out I had nothing really written on the front. It just had some design around the edge. It's not a button. But on the back, it has some writing. <laughs> and it looks like it says Samson. Grass plug. Samson's grass plug. Don't have a clue what that means. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna see what else we can find. I'll try to get this cleaned up better when I get home. Guys, I got something different here. It was showing up all over the map. But Here's what it is. Don't know what it is yet. It's got like an octagon shape. It says one DK on it. It says Guy and Eagle Store, Hammersdale, West Virginia. That's above my house. So this is a piece of script. Never found one like this before, so sweet. I'll take it. Looks like we found another older area, guys.